Shalom. Giving all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honors and blessings, salutations to the elect of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which hold their kind of composure and integrity. All right, this is Yaku Wall, and uh, I want to make a <clears throat> kind of a quick hit on Luke, the 19th chapter, the 13th verse. It says, and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Right. And the whole point is about occupying till the Lord returns. All right. If you look above on verse 12, <clears throat> it tells you that Yahweh shall left, but he plans on returning. All right. The very last part, it says, and to return. <clears throat> so we believe that Yahweh Shah is going to return, which means that we do believe his sayings and writings, which are these holy scriptures. And the thing that he told us to do was to occupy. Now, I was originally going to title this lesson, you know, we do videos, but videos will not save you. And, you know, because I've been seeing some men or observing and, you know, you got certain guys, some guys, which, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But also that it is a thing we have to constantly remind ourselves, man, that, you know, the works itself are not going to save you. You know, it's through faith. Where you're going to be saved. And by faith, you do the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you occupy properly because you believe that He is, that He is. <laughs> All right. And so, um, you know, doing videos originally was the premise of this lesson. But why do we do videos? All right. Why do we uh, go out on the highways and teach con consistently and not let up? You know, like it says in Isaiah, the 62nd chapter. <clears throat> but why do we do these things? All right. Now, when you look into the word occupy. All right. The word occupy means to reside or have one's place of business, which what did uh, what, what did you how I say? I think I might have it yeah, in, in John, the fourth chapter in the 34th verse. He said, you how I say unto him, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Right. We have a purpose. And every man that's in this truth and ministry, all right, you should understand <clears throat> that we are here to do Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's work or to help finish it. Which, while being here on this planet, you got to go through this life, you got to get through the world, and uh, you know basically do your business. <clears throat> but ultimately, ultimately, we're here to do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is to help seal up the elect. All right. Um, you know, give a sentence to the world and the inhabitants, uh, understand wickedness and understand that uh, it's not something to be promoted or pushed or practiced in any way or form. <coughs> so that's actually what we're getting right now is the understanding of that. But to basically understand, too, that, you know, um, let's see if I can find the scripture. I know there's a scripture where it talks about the purpose of, you know, your purpose. Um, it's a lot here, man. Um, yeah, right here, Romans 8 and 28. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high. To them who are the called according to his purpose. And the Lord's purpose, man, is to save you. All right. But he's going to try you. The whole, the whole purpose of this man is really just about occupying because... You know, I did a lesson the other day about, you know, being surfeited by the world and how the world can affect you and and really draw your 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 love for this truth away. It can, you know, wax your love old, <clears throat> you know, and I mean, we got scriptures that show that, man, you know, about, you know, um, you know, the love of many wax and cold. That's because they don't have this truth. They don't have the, the scriptures to help guide them and. You know, keep their love on fire, which is ultimately to the for, to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Yeah, you know it can apply to your family, this and that, but we're 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 sticking on the most important, beneficial and and, and uh, needful thing for your life, which is this this word. All right, so you know, again, when you go back into the word, um, I lost it. So lucky. When you're going back to the word occupy, it says in the second part to fill or preoccupy the mind or thoughts. This is why we do videos. This is why we consistently meditate on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's words because 
we got to consistently fill our mind with these things. All right. Uh, what did that say? And um, uh, what is that? Uh, no. Oh, let me let me think. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought on a certain scripture. Oh, there we go. Uh, let me get this in for Second Corinthians. Because <clears throat> what I was talking about is, you know, the reason why we got to fill ourselves every day is because every day is a new test. <laughs> every day is a new day to see if you're going to occupy and, and, and basically retain your integrity, keep your wits intact and make it through this world again. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 16 says, For which cause we faint not, but though our it, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And that's, you know, by keeping yourself filled with this word, all right, keeping the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh to the best of your ability, all right, and ultimately continuing on as a soldier and teacher for, for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And a soldier uh, goes into being a champion, all right, and how do you get the champion? By overcoming this world. See, you got to, again, you got to fill your mind with these things, man, because if not, it can detach you from the, it can detach you, man. It can deter you, which is what I pulled up next. It can discourage you from doing something by instilling doubt or fear of the consequences or prevent the occurrence of, and in this case, being too much in this world, man, all right, having your business con con constantly among the world, eventually your actions and your ways and your thoughts are going to be of the world. Which is why we got to renew our spirit, which is why we do videos to occupy, all right, to occupy and fill our minds with those things. Because when you make a video, you're not making a video about the world. You're not making a video to help benefit the world. You're doing it to help benefit yourself and the elect, all right, the sincere ones that do believe and understand that this world is a wicked ass place. Which is why I have this in Galatians, the first chapter, in the fourth verse, it says, Who gave himself for our sins. That he might deliver us from this present evil world. This this world is evil, man. And you can't get too attached to it, man. That's why, again, you got to occupy. Occupy till I come. Nine, uh, Luke 19 and 13. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and sent unto them, Occupy till I come. So, you know, Paul said, let this mind be in you as it was in us. You know, this is, or as it was in Yahweh Shai. You know, this is, this is our business. All right. This is our enterprise and venture that we hold to and that we try to increase upon because we ultimately know in the end, I think I think I had a scripture. Uh, yeah, th th you know, at the end of the day, the kingdom is coming and we want to, you know, be restored to the, our former image, which is, you know, we were immortal. We were the sons of the power, you know, the nation of of immortality, man. And that's what we're trying to get back to, man. So you want to fill yourself and get prepared for that. If Yahweh were to Zah, man, you are of that number, which ultimately in the end, the elect is going to receive that. All right. But every man that's of the elect and every man, woman, and child that's of the elect, man, they're going to have these things in their mind. They're going to have this way. All right. Like the scripture said, this is the way you walk you in it. But it says in 1 Thessalonians 2 and 12, that you would walk worthy of the Most High. Who have called you unto his kingdom and glory. The world ain't going to teach you how to be worthy, man. The world is not going to help you uh, obtain the the, the, uh, the reward that Yahweh Hashem Yashah has waiting for those who have been following him and, and, and occupying, working, all right? <clears throat> this is, um, damn, there's a lot. Uh, Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 58 It says Therefore my beloved brethren Be ye steadfast unmovable Always abounding in the work of the Lord Because it's going to fill you up Alright you're gonna, It's going to occupy you man Alright abounding in the work of the Lord For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain In the Lord at the end of the day We look for that promise man We look for the rewards Alright we look for the blessings we, all right, we look for to be delivered So just a real short, quick hit. I'm going to, Lord will, continue on this after work. I just got to get back. My break is up. But until then, I want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. That want to say the apostles, Ella's a great millstone. Peace and much love, honors, and blessings to you, to the elect. All right. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Brakatham, Kwame, Shalom.